Hi, I'm Peter from Field Archery and Cut. Today I'm going to be looking at a top archery. I'll call this horse bow. It's a two piece takedown, but in their advert, they advertise this as a two piece takedown longbow recurve. I would call that horse bow. <coughs> uh, I don't know what else to call it personally. Anyway, this is the top archery model. Uh, this is 35 pounds at 28 inches. You've got a laminated maple riser, bamboo, and uh, fiberglass limbs. Uh, you can see the, uh, the takedown portion there. I'll shoot some arrows and then take it down. Uh, look, look at the size there. See the size? Absolutely gorgeous. These are incredible. If you shop around, if you put in top archery on any search engine, you'll find them on sites all around the world. Uh, I think, uh, anyway, just, just search it and you'll see them from, for different prices. And they are incredibly good value. Uh, that's what I'm saying. You sort it out for yourself. This is, um, like they, it's bizarre. They, they market this as a 52 inch bow, but what they mean is it's 52 inches strong. I actually measured it with my, my arrow stick. It's, it's a 56 inch bow. Um, the, the brace height is 170 mil, which is a tad under six and three quarters. Um, and I've got this from memory to, to dead on that. Uh, when it turns up, it turns up. Uh, in two little sort of satin sleeves, uh, one piece per, per, per limb, and, um, and a string, and that's it. Uh, the arrow pass, and I, I don't know if you can see it, so you've got this lovely, and I'm going to say that's a leather grip, then this portion here, arrow pass, feels like a sort of rubbery, it doesn't feel like, like it's like a sponge rubber, it's got a little bit of give to it. So, so that protects the bow. You can see those lovely laminations there, the maple laminations. It is a very, very shiny bow. I mean, look at the sun gleaming off of that. No. Right, so, uh, minimum weight. I went everywhere on the internet and in your own time, everywhere on the internet and I couldn't find a minimum weight uh, so I'm going to go with eight grains per pound I have seen other um, I've seen um, other youtubers shoot lighter than that with these bows with, with this bow actually but I'm going to go as I say this is a 35 or 28 so I'll work that out is yeah 280 grains minimum the lightest arrow I'm going to be shooting is 300 grains so well over the eight grains per pound um, so Check brace height, uh, check uh, poundage at 28. I'm going to shoot the arrows off the split, uh, um, Mediterranean um, and then I might have, have a little go with a thumb draw. So I'm not sure how that'll go, but give it a go. Right, so we've got this. Well, it's dead on the 170 mil, which is just a smidge under six and three quarters. The poundage, and I've got my little stick at, you know, at 28. Two scales, somewhere. We have notes. Just watch these limbs. They, they, they just, and I'm going to have to open palm this, otherwise it, um, the block's going to hit my hand first. No. Yeah. Look at, those, look at that limb profile. Beautiful. And there he is. I think I'm getting 33, 34. I shall draw it up again. I've mentioned this a few times now, it's 35 every time, it's typical. Let's just do that one more time. Yep, dead on the 35. Cool. Right, so, usual selection of arrows. Starting off with heavy ones first. Uh, 
got 250 spine with 150 insert, 315 grain pile, 465 up front, total weight of 765. It's about the only one I can remember. <coughs> oh, maximum draw, this is 32 inches by the way. Uh, not that I can do that. And that did not register. Let's shoot that again. But it was perfectly straight. <coughs> okay, one, two, two. But to be honest, I'm going to have to check that again because I was just looking to see where I try and get this cut. These chronos are designed to go on the back on, on, on fixed to a stabiliser, so they're meant to be an inch above the an inch below the arrow. So quite often I'm shooting up here, so I'm trying to get it below. So that was 122. So no reading, 122. Hoping for the same same reading. Oh, 122, that's good. Right. So no reading, 122, 122. 765 grain arrow, 35 pound bow. Number 250 spine, uh, 250 grain pole, 100 grain incense, so 350 up front. Total weight of 640 grain, 648 grains. Hundred and thirty four feet per second and slightly weak. Six hundred and forty eight grains, hundred and thirty four feet per second. Right, next. Uh, three forty spine, uh, two hundred grain pole, uh, hundred and fifty grain inset, so three fifty up front, total weight of six hundred and six grains. Thirty five pound bone. Last one was one three four. And 139 feet per second with a 606 grain power. I think one more than I'll clear this. Right, another 340 spine, another 200 grain pile, 100 grain inset, so 300 up front. Total weight of uh, 557. Last one was 139. And 141 feet per second. I am going to move those because they're starting to get bashed around. 141 feet per second. There's no hand shot. There's no vibration. Heavy arrows. Ain't quick and quiet. That last one was 141 feet per second. Right, and uh, 400 spine, 150 insert, 200 pile, so 350 up front. And 141 feet per second again. Okay. So I've got to try that one again. No, I won't. Yeah, I will. So one four one. Let's try again. Double check. Yeah, five nine five. Four hundred spine. Five nine five total weight. Hundred forty. So one hundred forty. Hundred forty one. Right, come on. Uh, another 400 spine. This is 175 grain pile, uh, 100 grain incisor, 275 up front. Total weight of 528, 528. Oh, 
149 feet per second. This is a 35 pound boat. Uh, 500 spine. I think it's 170 grain uh, pole, uh, 150 inserts, so 320 up front. Total weight of 540 grains. And 151 feet per second. Another 500 spine, another 170 grain uh, pile, 100 grain inserts, so 270 up front, and 493 grains. 158 feet per second. I'm going to move those arrows because they're in the way now. 158 feet per second, and the 493 grain arrow and a 35 pound bug. Right. Last couple and then I shall have a bash with a couple of with the last couple uh, with, with my thumb draw. Right so uh, my V Force Junior 600 spine uh, 344 grains total weight uh, I can't remember. I think it's a 125. I'll put it in the, the description. So the last one was 158 grain. And 175. Uh, a little bit stiff. So I actually need a 150 grain on it. But 35 pound bow, 175 uh, feet per second. Uh, the light is in the bunks, this is another 600 spine, 100 grain pile, standard insert, total weight, uh, 299 grains. I think sometimes I weigh it's 300, sometimes it's 299. No, I think last time I weighed it's 300. And 188 feet per second with a 35 pound bow. You can't hear anything. Um, Fantastic bows. Well, you know, just have a little close up there. Look at that. The workmanship is fantastic, it really is. Uh, there we go, top archery. Right, so now. Uh, somewhere there. Thumb ring. So this is my new thumb ring. And um I can tell. I bought a few thumb rings off of various sites. Be the skin flint, I bought the really, really cheap ones. Don't buy the really, really cheap ones. They're horrible. Buy the, the, the decent price one. The weight, just the quality of finish and everything is just so much better. Everyone first. Stop thinking about what I'm doing here. Fingers crossed. Hundred and twenty-four feet per second. 
すぐだよ。I think that was one two two from memory. I'll check. Don't know. This one was one eight eight. This is all new to me. I'm not really sure what they're doing. One eighty one. Okay. Right. Now, fun bit. Wait. I know everybody else does the, um, the step through. The larking. I've always used a stringer, and I always will use a stringer. Listen for the pop. Oh, I love that. So there you go. That is a uh, bottom limb, top limb. And they come with these rather fetching little bags. <laughs> 